Hello, uh, this I'm making the second video, um, mostly, mostly just because I am, um, well, I didn't feel like I got the, I, I got to finish what I was talking about last time, so I'm going, going to go ahead and make the second video, um, because here's what I was going to point out was one of the, one of the kind of problems with the method that I was showing you works great when you have something, uh, like the goblin that I had that you're just going to add to. Um, but some, some of the tools, some of the creatures in the bestiary, uh, especially the ones with magic or magical abilities, you actually have to do some little changes. So let me, I'm not going to mess with a dragon right now. Uh, something with a that I know has magic. So, um, a blood hag. Okay, I'm gonna pull a blood hag over in. Okay, so then I get this character sheet. Uh, Okay, and she starts to show up. Now that I've put a blood tag in, she starts to show up in the journal, right? And I can edit her and, you know, have her named, uh, Jennifer the Blood Hag. Uh, and, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's okay. Uh, I can do that and see. Then it changes over here, Jennifer the Blood Hag. And then if I want to find another Blood Hag, I can you know give them lots of different names. Uh, but okay, so here's here's the deal. Here's the deal, and this is annoying. Uh, see here where you would put the spells in, or spell like abilities, or special attacks. Um, they don't actually have them there. Like, I can't click inflict moderate root wounds. So instead, I have to, I can use this list here and go like this and then go over here to this and um, get out of that and, and okay, inflict moderate wounds. but you have to be able to spell inflict. Okay, that was moderate wounds, right? That I could that I could put on there. Um so I can go ahead and and do that. I can go ahead and pull it over uh in order to have it inflict moderate wounds. And then I can click on it, but if you don't do that, it won't work just from this list. And I don't know, I don't know why they made it that way. It seems to me like if they went to all the trouble to put it on there, and then I'm gonna have to adjust it, right? Because just what it has on here, it has uh, what does it say, cleric two? But does it give the caster level um, or anything like that? All of that's going to be. Okay, yeah, the DC. Um, the DC is not zero. Um, the DC is going to be caster level 12. Yeah, you're going to have to adjust it. Um, so caster level 12, I think, is 16. Uh, but anyway, so you've, you've got to adjust that. I don't know why they did that. Uh, why they didn't just, because if they're going to go to all the trouble of putting all this stuff in, it seems like they could have just done it. And also things like the special attacks. Um, Sometimes, a lot of those don't even show up in here. Like, let's see if Blood Drain. Okay, it does. Uh, it does show up in there. So we should be able to pull it over. Yeah, it's not even... Not even, oh, I have to, no, I don't want to look at what it does. I don't care right now. Um, okay. It's not working. Um, and so that's, that's kind of annoying. Now that's only, this is only really a problem with casters. 
um, where you have to go through and put all the things in. And, you know, maybe you don't want to. Maybe you already know what all the spells do, and you've got it memorized, or you've got note cards with you when you're playing. Uh, all of that can be fine. But I found that it was best to go ahead and take things to take things over. Um, that's what I found worked the best. Uh, was to, to go ahead and put them in there, because otherwise I have to remember what every single spell does for every single creature I want to put in. Uh, and, you know, I think it's really nice that, you know, you've got you've got these. And so when you're planning, you can pull them over. And also, even if you're not planning, and like, you know, you suddenly, everybody's talking, and they're like, let's go into this, Let, let's uh, break this thing down, and you're like, break this tree down, and you're like, well, why are they breaking the tree down? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a dryad in that tree. Uh, I wasn't planning on it, but I, I just know I could get one, and so I will, and you don't even have to, you can respond to your you can respond to your player's actions just by pulling stuff off. So it's really nice to just be able to pull it off, and then you have it uh, in the journal as a character. And then if they start to interact with it more, you can give it a name. And like when I made, when I made in our game that we played, when I made Eugene S. and Minch the Green Dragon, right? Uh, I took it. I took a standard green dragon, uh, but I did all kinds of things. I gave him class levels as a an alchemist, and so I put all of those in there. Uh, I actually, you know, like there's all these spells, um, but there's more. But I just didn't worry about putting them all in. Um, but that was really really nice, and and then you know I had. Eugene S. and Minch was his name, and also, so then when we, you know, when I would do something, when I would, although he didn't get to do very much because you killed him awful dead, um, so he wanted to cast, he should have cast Mirror Image, um, that would have maybe made some things work a little better, anyway, cast Mirror Image, um, when I could do that, uh, it worked it worked pretty well. So it's really nice to just be able to pull things. And also, I would say uh, for people playing casters, uh, this is really nice because you can actually pull these things into... You can pull, actually for anybody, uh, you can pull your feats and you can pull your spells uh, right into your character sheet from the eye thing up here in the... I don't know why it has an I. Information is still what I'm guessing, but I don't really know. I don't really know why. So, um, I'm not going to use up my full 15 minutes on this one, uh, because I just kind of see this as I ran out of time on the last one. So, okay, bye.